All right, I want to do uh, another video here, and um, I came across this on RTLSDR.com. Well, actually, a couple days ago, the Junior Radio Tempest uh, looks really exciting. Uh, Tempest, you can see here, being a technique to eavesdrop on electronic equipment via their unintentional radio emissions. I don't have this uh, this block uh, built into Dragon OS, but uh, I did a real quick test. I tried to uh, not break anything. Uh, but I am running this in a live machine just so that I can further test this out. Essentially, all I'm going to do is uh, build Volk, V-O-L-K, from source. And, uh, well, it's probably not good uh, to maybe install over or alongside whatever uh, app get uh, for Junior Radio installed. Uh, but I don't know. I don't see any downsides yet, so I'll just get right into this, okay? Uh, pull up a... And I'll put all these links so you can read more about it. And my goal is uh, we'll run through the example file. And then I've got my RTL SDR hooked up. Uh, and I just want to see if it interfaces with it. I don't know enough about it to actually, you know, see something off of my VGA cable or whatever uh, I have laying around here. But, okay. Um, again, I'll link you to all these pages. I'm on the uh, GNURadio.org. Uh, actually, let me jump over to here, juniorradio.org, it's referring to the Ubuntu PPA installation. And when you come down and you have a look at uh, installing dependencies, about, I don't know, halfway, three-quarter ways down the page, you'll find this link over here, use this command, which brings you over to here. So we're looking under the 3.7.x version because this, uh, well, one, Dragon OS has... Uh, Genia Radio 3.7, and this block is only built for 3.7 right now. So, uh, copy paste this into there, let it finish. I don't want to jump too far around here, but we're going to do one additional thing or install one additional package. Okay. All right, that one changed. Python 3. All right, install that. Now that we've got that installed, we're going to jump over to this other page here and we're going to pull Volk down from Git, change into our user source directory, put a sudo on there. We'll clone that. Change directory folk. We'll make a build directory. And we can copy and paste just like it shows and see where it says Python 3. That was the importance of putting that, uh, uh, that uh, extra package I told you about. Oh, let's see. Sudo. Okay. And then the typical make, we'll do sudo make, sudo make install. And then we need to remember sudo uh, ld config there. Okay, while this is running, because I know it's going to take a little bit, let's pull open another window. And what we'll do is we'll change to our user source. We'll come over here to the last link I'll get you, which is the actual GR Tempest implementation. You can see it comes with, uh, it's going to come with some examples, and we'll go through at least two of them. Uh, but to build it for a system wide installation, we want to, same thing here, we'll add the sudo. Clone it into Tempest. Tempest. We'll make a build directory. Change into build. We'll let this. Uh, we'll let this finish over here. Now you'll notice I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't install Junior Radio uh, from the 
PPA. That's something I'll look at later that would get us up to 3.7.13, I think it is, versus .11 right now. Uh, but there's a couple uh, considerations with that. Um, I, I want to do some more testing. So right now, all I'm doing is installing Volk. Uh, probably over top, maybe alongside, I don't know, to look at it more. But hey, it works. So and I can check later if it, if it breaks anything. All right, this is just about finished. All right, so we left off with sudo make. We'll do sudo make install. Sudo ld config, don't forget that. All right, now we'll jump over here to the Tempest. And let's see, so, all right, we're gonna run CMake, but we're gonna add one more, we're gonna add a flag on there. If you come down here, uh, let's see, we want to add this little flag right here. Come here, let's do uh, sudo CMake, uh, paste that flag, dot dot forward slash, okay. We'll let that run. Do sudo make. And let's come back up. So while that's finishing, I'm going to take a look at the manual, uh, manual simulated Tempest example, which uh, will pull up a, uh, yeah, we'll pull up a graphic that the developer has added in there. And then we'll take a look at this manual Tempest example. And I'll replace the uh, USRP device with an RTL SDR and at least see if it interfaces. I guess I could try a hack RF2, but I'll keep it to the RTL SDR. So sudo make install. And don't forget sudo ld config. All right, at this point, we should be able to back out into our main Tempest directory have a look in the examples. Note the location of this PNG file. Let's see, so we want to run Genu Radio. Oop. Companion uh, Manual Simulated. Yeah, GRC. Now what we should see is it open up in Genu Radio Companion here if you followed along to the T. Now, granted, I guess something could change in the uh, Tempest Git uh, Hub page by the time I show this and when you all get around to trying it. But come down here. Let's change the image file source. Uh, we'll go up to GR Tempest. There we go. Apply. Okay. It's going to ask us to generate a flow graph. Just put it on the desktop because we have write uh, privileges there. So. Now, you should get this, which is uh, exactly what the developer shows uh, in his YouTube video and goes through what all these uh, settings are. And, you know, I, I still have a lot to look at here. Um, it's my first time interacting with it. But uh, anyways, this will get you up to this point here. That's the example. Now, let's take a look at, let's close out of this, and let's check, let's, let's do one more example here. Companion, uh, let's, let's try the manual Tempest example. Okay, so you can see it's got the USRP here and a file source. We want to let's disable both of these. Let's come down here to our no module specified sources. Let's throw an RTL SDR source on here. Uh, open up and look at the properties of this USRP uh, under RF options. I noticed it had this, it's referring to this uh, uh, formula uh, there, 
So I'm going to do the same that was under the channel zero frequency. I'll replace that. Okay. And let's, let's connect it. All right. So now it's connected. Again, let's uh, save it to the desktop and should start up. Okay. So now it looks to be using the RTL SDR. Uh, I, you know, I, I just kind of wanted to show that we can get it interfaced. Um, there's obviously a lot of uh, reading and understanding I need to do here. I don't. Uh, I, I don't know if I should expect to be seeing something off of my screen right now. Um, so, anyways, I'll do some more research. This is at least get you uh, to this point installed. Uh, let me know in the description. Um, any, uh, I guess, uh, negatives to doing what I did with Volk, if, if anyone sees that breaking anything or if there's a better way about that. But without that Volk, with the uh, the 1.3 Volk that's uh, part of the GNU radio um, from apt, and also I noticed from PPA, it doesn't, uh, it needs at least Volk like 1.4 uh, to do what it needs to do. So this was my way around that. All right, thank you.